This is CPM 500 model uh, piston filler. You have your e stop, you have manual. So it's a left manual, and you run off the foot switch one cycle at a time. You have to the right automatic, so it continually run. This is your positive shut off nozzle, your little 12mm tip, you can unscrew for cleaning. Triclover fitting, you can remove for cleaning. This is your 30 litre hopper, rotary valve, which you can pull apart. Another triclover and your main piston here. All this can be pulled out for cleaning. You need to remove the air to change the volume. Pull a little toggle back. Release this clamp. You want more volume. You want to pull the pilot back. Less volume. You want to pull the pilot forward. And lock it up. Air yeah, back on again. All right to go. Alright, so this is your little air regulator here. So your air is on now and off. To plug the air in, as simple as clicking your needo fitting over. Um, when running, be sure we're running about 6 bar, which is about there. So to do that, just to lock it, pull that up slightly, anti-clockwise or less, clockwise for more. So you need to run the fill around 6 bar. We want to run a little bit quicker, so I wound out the banjo fly control anti-clockwise to bring the piston back faster and the forward flow control so we can fill a little bit quicker. This is great for if you're running a mayonnaise or a thick mayonnaise or a thick gel sanitizer or anything anything thicker than water. Maybe a little bit too quick. Get a little leak on the nozzle, just tighten him up a little bit on the o ring. When cleaning, best thing to do is to run your product out so your hopper's empty. Take your hopper off. Undo the triclover clamp here. Once you don't lose the seal. Give this a good wash, put it back on. Remember you still have your product on the inside. So the idea of this is now you fill this up with clean water and run it through and flush your product out. Once you flush it through clean with water, undo the front nozzle triclover clamp. This can stay off now, don't lose your steel, you keep your clamp handy. Undo the nozzle tips, so you can flush those out and clean them. Replace the o-ring daily, is a, is a handy thing to do. And you have the other o-rings on the inside. Okay, next step, remove your hopper again. It should be fairly clean just from flushing through with water. Remove the triclover seal. Take the hopper to your washroom. Next step, let's pull out the rotary valve. Undo the six bolt clamps. Pull this end plate off. Push the valve through for cleaning. Undo the air lines here. Remember the black and the blue where they go. And you can clean that. 
So we can remove the piston next for cleaning. Easy done for your socket heads, use your Allen key supplied. So we'll put the clamp down there. Remove the next tro clover, which bolts up the rotary valve in the, in the, in the piston. Remove the seal. Rotary valve's off for cleaning. Take that to your washroom. Remove the piston. Simple as just pull it out. Straight to your washroom. Remove the O-ring, you can clean the um, Teflon piston up as well. Once everything's nice and clean, you reassemble. Just the opposite way to you. Pulled everything apart, put piston in. Pushing back for now. Clamps. Put everything on nice and loose to start with. Once you put the piston in, next is the rotary valve. Don't forget to put the little triclover seal in there. Clamp him up. The reason why you leave everything loose to start with is because you want to line the center up on here, not back here. Yeah, and once that's centered, you can lock these clamps up. Just clamp them up nice and even, no need to over tighten. It, pinch it up. With the rotary valves, you have two options. You have one here, stainless with bearings, is mainly for your sanitizer and chemicals. And you have the Teflon, or uh, depending on what um, product we're using, uh, we can use a different harder plastic. This is more for your food. So depending on what model you have. So just to reassemble that, on the end you have a little counters countersink dimple that goes to the top. Easy, slide him in, make sure the little pin punch is to the top. End plate. That's the backing plate. So we have the um, rotary valve in installed. You'll notice the little pin punches to the top. This is to ensure the actual holes for the rotary valve in the right position. Rotary, rotary valve actuator, make sure it's fully clockwise. So yeah, the yellow stripe is vertical. Then install. little three locking bolts. Finger tight's enough, no need to over tighten these either. Third one can be a little bit tricky. Reinstall the end nozzle. Try clover seal. This is for you reinstalling the nozzle. Just take note 
um, which line goes to the top, the blue or the black, and depending on which model we have, and the, the blue on the bottom. Okay, time to put your hopper back on, seal. That's it, all done. Check everything's nice and hand tight, all the clamps. Ensure you've tightened up the, the socket bolts. That's it.